All right, hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and I'm going to do kind of, I guess, I guess a vlog kind of thing. I just want to talk about some of the update on Core Gadget, and I like it so far that I've played with it. I haven't played with um, Rosario, the uh, guitar effects processor yet, but Recif, Recify, Recif, whatever, however you say that, um... Is a cool drum machine. Uh, got some pretty nice little built-in sounds, and you can change them up. You know, just by simply clicking on the pad and then clicking on the whatever you want. You can change the starting end times uh, and the length of it, and there's just a. So, I mean, you have a lot of options just with the built-in sounds to customize them to what you want. Um, it would be nice, super nice, if you could import your own. Maybe that future update. I would gladly pay for an update to be able to import my own sounds into this. I mean, Bilboa is nice. But it seems like <clears throat> the other the other one can do some some things that this one really can't, or it just seems I don't know. It's just, it's, it's different. And I would like to be able to put my own samples into it. So, but we got Beatmaker Three coming out pretty soon, and so that will satisfy that beat machine kind of thing. Um, another thing. <clears throat> you know, I I kind of figured that it would they would do the update like this in Gadget as far as the audio how they handled the audio files as far as being only the clip and you know you got a set number of bars per scene per track and so I kind of figured that would be but let me bring up my Acer screen and let me go over here and so I just did a quick search uh, bandcoach.org slash calculators calculators.html and this will calculate how long <clears throat> of audio file that each that the section is in and just kind of, I guess I'm just trying to put it into perspective if you 16 bars which is the limit on a scene with at 120 bpm four beats per minute four beats per bar it comes out to 32 seconds that's i mean that's a long time when a song when you think about a song structure um i just did a quick search uh <clears throat> point blank music school came up with this just kind of some basic uh song structures Two bar intro, eight bar, eight bar pre chorus, eight bar chorus, two bar int instrumental, eight bars, four, eight. You know, you're going down to something like this. You got four bars intro, eight bar verse, eight bar pre chorus. Um, pink song is four bar intro, 16 bar verse, 16 bar chorus, four bar intro, 16. So there's, and these are, you know, pop songs. <clears throat> Not saying everybody's writing a pop song and, Somebody who's doing some, you know, long ambient tracks, you know, it would be a little more difficult to divide that up into the different sections instead of having one linear. You'd have to, you know, maybe if you got your BPM set right, um, record it into something like Twisted Wave or something where you can really get in and edit the audio break it up into 16 bar sections or like if you're working at one at 120 bpm and 4 4 time you know break it up into 32 second sections export them out individually and then import them into the different tracks and that would should i haven't tested it yet maybe i'll test that later um, and post a video <clears throat> about it but you know that should give you a continuous you know as the track goes through a continuous line um, of a uh, of a track, but I just I guess I just wanted to kind of put it in perspective because I know there was some talks on the 
audio bus forum about <clears throat> not necessarily complaining, but just talking about the, you know, it's limited to 16 bars. I mean, but, but really that's a lot of time. I mean, 32 seconds is a lot for, you know, a little audio file. I mean, most people, you know, that's a phrase and, you know, a song is, you know, most songs is like right up here. It's a intro verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, middle eight, break, you got a chorus, you got an outro, you know, and those are, you know, usually two, four, eight, or 16 bars per, you know, per section. And, and so, I mean, it would, <clears throat> it would, it wouldn't be hard to use the audio track, which is, you know, it's very useful, um, you know, you can add some effects. I don't see, there's no way to pitch, and it doesn't seem to have any kind of time stretching algorithms or anything like that. And so that's another kind of a downfall, it, as as you would have to pretty much record straight into, straight into Gadget, or you would need to know the BPM and everything and record it somewhere else and then import it into Gadget. It's not necessarily going to be what you would want if you're going to import a sample you know that's 80 bpm imported into here have it time stretch and <clears throat> all that stuff it's not what it's probably going to do um i've imported a a um, elastic drums beat that wasn't the same and it was just it was a little finicky trying to drag the uh oh, i'm not on the ipad anymore am i uh, just iPad. Nope. Quick time. There we go. <clears throat> so it's a little finicky sometimes to grab the, uh, the sections and try to move the bar around. I mean, will I use the audio built in audio? Maybe. Um, I do want to try that, you know, record, you know, 64 or 128 bars of just some ambient kind of maybe just hold a pad for, you know, a couple minutes, bring it into Twisted Wave, break it up, bring it into Gadget, import it in in 16 or 32 second intervals, 16 bar intervals, and press play and see if there's any kind of glitches in between the two scenes or three or four scenes. You know, that would be a way to record it. It's still going to require an extra app. Um, now, you could essentially just use this, you know, record a phrase, record, you know, your guitar, you know, you know, loop it. I don't know. I haven't played around with it enough to know if it would, if it'll just loop. Once it stops, will it start overdubbing and things like that? But, so yeah. It's just kind of a, just wanted to kind of vlog about it, maybe put it in a little bit of a perspective on that. It's a free update, so we can't necessarily complain um, entirely about a, a free update. And with 32 seconds at 120, you know, if, if, you're, if you're crazy and you're up into like 160 BPM, you know, that's still 24 seconds, you know, and if you're really crazy and you're down into like at playing at rest, I mean, that's, that's a minute and four seconds of audio that you could put in there. And so there's, I mean, there's limitations, but overall, I think it, you know, it could be an added benefit, added benefit and, you know, you could, uh, you know, export it out, or you can just export the, you know, whatever, the the four tracks that you want to export. You wouldn't necessarily have to, let's get back, to, you know, if you go here and go to export, you know, you can audio share, which is another awesome update, audio share, thank you, but you can export each individual track, and so maybe you could put track one, say you got, you got a groove on your guitar, you just kind of want to play it in here and not worry about timing and you're not even going to use that file but it would be good to have it in here as kind of like a, a placeholder to kind of get the the rhythm and things 
in it. So you record your guitar part, or you, you record you beating on the on the table or something to get the rhythm, and then you go into you know rect, uh, rectify, rec, res, resify, res, resif, resif, you know, or you know any of the other drum drum gadgets, and then you can kind of listen to your own audio and then kind of program a beat in and then you can just delete it so you use it up use the audio as like a scratch pad to help you program different gadgets you know program the midi into different gadgets so that, that may be one way i use it um how long have i been blabbing for 10 minutes 11 minutes um so yeah standard let's see yeah Overall, I think it's a it's a nice update. One thing uh, someone pointed out, and I hadn't really noticed. I don't necessarily use it, but the hold to erase function while it's playing um, is gone. And so, but one thing you can do is just clear note or clear automation. But I wish you could individually clear certain automations because I'll be playing and I got a nice automation going on and I'll accidentally click on something else and draw something in and it's just like it's hard to get it back to where it was. Um, I wish you could, there should be like a hold, if you click and hold on one of these automation groups right here, click and hold and clear individually would be awesome. And they probably I don't I mean I don't know I'm not a I'm not an app programmer so I don't know how how easy or hard that would be to program that little section in to do that but that would be a nice touch um, and then maybe because this don't have anything right now and you can change it'll change scales and stuff maybe if you click and hold it bring that portion back click and hold it to be able to erase the notes that you want to erase so but I uh, can't really think of any other updates or things that I've noticed so far um, there's this duplicate you can easily copy you can easily copy the files down through now so that was uh, that's a lot easier than having to go function, duplicate, duplicate. It's just kind of right there, or you can just add a new one. So that would help building up tracks if you're just building them up real quickly. So, so yeah. Uh, don't really have anything else. Um, thanks for uh, watching me blab about the new gadget for a few minutes. And uh, I will be doing, I'll probably do some, do some videos on, you know, showcasing some sounds or, you know, definitely I'm going to do the one where I record some ambient and see if there's any glitches in between the different scenes. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe.